Back in the day, there was this Mexican place nearby where I used to live that would serve the best wet burritos ever. Unfortunately, 10 years ago, it shut down and it's now a pieology. And while putting pineapple on pizza with Alfredo sauce is delicious, it's not enough to fill the wet burrito size hole in my heart. So today, I'm on a mission to recreate that wet burrito, mostly as you'll soon see. Now, wet burritos are typically covered in an enchilada sauce. I have here on this plate four ounces of anchos, three ounces of guajillos, and three chili de arbols. And if you're going down into the comments section typing out if there's a less spicy alternative, you already lost the plot. Do me a favor, hit the unsubscribe button. Now, now take our chilies and make sure you deceive them nice and well. I already took the liberty of doing it off camera. Let's just snip it open, just snip it open and dump out the seeds. So dump all of our de-seeded and de-stemmed chilies into a bowl. And next, cover the entire bowl of chilies in boiling hot water. And uh, let them reprostitute. I mean, uh, uh, reconstitute in hot water. Uh, just to slip out, uh, Miss Wojcinski, don't demonetize my video. Uh. All right, and while this reconstitutes, let me set up my blender. Okay, once our chilies are done steeping and are rehydrated, add them to a high-powered blender. Then let's add a cup and a half of our chili liquid to our blender. Then let's add four to six cloves of garlic, depending on their size. Next, let's add one and a half teaspoons of salt. two teaspoons of chicken base, one tablespoon of granulated onion, one tablespoon of cumin, half a cup of tomato sauce, and a secret ingredient of mine, half a teaspoon of MSG. And no, it's not gonna give you a headache. Get over it. Slap on the lid, blend until smooth. We want the, okay, we want the sauce to be a bit on the thin side. And we're gonna slowly drizzle in some of our reconstituted water. All right, on to the next step. All right, next pour our enchilada sauce through the strainer to make it nice and smooth. All right, let's give everything a nice taste test. Perfect. Now comes the burrito. Now you can put anything you want in your burrito, but here's how it normally went at the place I used to go to. Nice hearty chunks of carne asada. Some pico de gallo salsa. A little shredded Mexican cheese. Some sliced avocado. And here's where I'm gonna take some Liberty, some chipotle sour cream. Now let's fold it up like this. Oh, it's got a tear. Nah, I'm gonna tear into it later, no big deal. Anyway, put your burrito into a castor iron skillet or a heat proof plate. Oh, and the, this wet burrito came with a side of nachos that were also drenched in the sauce, so. Little on helpful spoonfuls of our sauce. And 
And finally, give everything a nice dusting of shredded Mexican cheese. And stick this in the broiler to melt the cheese. And once the cheese is bubbling hot, take it out of the broiler and dig right in. Oh, and uh, no funny line to end the episode. I gotta eat this while the cheese is still nice and gooey. This has been Chase Cut in the Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun. And meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and support me on Patreon. Oh, and the, the whole pineapple Alfredo thing was a joke. I suffer from mental illness, but not that much mental illness. <laughs>